What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Horror After Dark YouTube channel. If you aren't already, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell for post notifications. Me and Austin do not want you guys missing a single video in the future. If you're listening to us off of Anchor, hit that follow button. But today, guys, we're going to be reviewing, breaking down, talking pros and cons on the new episode of the Chucky TV series. So episode two. Uh, spoiler warnings are going to be ahead. So three, two, one. One, y'all should have been out of here by now, clicked off, and let's just begin the show. Austin, what's a point that you want to bring up? Well, one of the points I want to bring up is this episode, in my personal opinion, was way better than last week's episode, even though Lexi, as usual, is being a complete bitch. Dude, but, she's um... always been the bitch of the series, bro. Like, I was sitting here, if you guys should, me and Austin should record ourselves watching it one day for y'all, because me and Austin will be screaming for Chucky to kill this bitch, like, the entire time she's on. And then there was one part of the episode where me and Austin are, like, sitting there screaming, kill her, kill her, because, like, she's laying in bed, her and uh, Junior, her boyfriend, which is Jake's cousin, sitting there, like, trying to have sex or something, but... Junior being Junior doesn't know what to do, which upsets, uh, what's her name, Lexi. And Chucky keeps stabbing a knife from up under the bed trying to kill him and getting pissed off at himself for not being able to do it because they keep tossing and turning. And then at one point, somebody comes in a room and they lay up as soon as Chucky finally about gets her. Me and Austin are like, you motherfucker, what the hell? <laughs> and, uh, it was so funny. But like, Austin, you got to admit, the party this time around, like the talent show, was the highlight of the episode. Yes, it was. And speaking of which, that breaks into my first question. Okay. <laughs> Do you think Jake will kill Lexi or will Chucky take matters into his own hands? I feel like or Chucky, obviously, like the end of the episode here, is talking Jake. Like I said uh, in my previous one, or in the previous week's episode, that Chucky is going to try to recruit Jake. And we've seen it again. Like, he's sitting here recruiting Jake to, like, take the knife from him and, like, go kill people. But, like, I feel like it's going to start out with Jake being like, oh, I'm going to go do it. I'm going to go do it, then puss out of it. So, I think, like, Chucky's going to end up having to take things into his own hands. Yeah, that's believable. And, man, just getting back to that one scene. And it's my only con or that's actually reasonable because I mean, let's just face it. Chucky not killing Lexi was like my other con, mm -hmm. but my main con is underage sex is just weird. And it throws me off. And like the whole time I'm sitting there like, bro, like why? Like, bro, it's just, it creeps me. I just feel weird watching it. It's my only con of the episode. Yes, exactly. Now back to Lexi, this branch brings up my other question. Oh, why do you think Lexi's sister drew a picture of Chucky? Oof, I think that that's a damn good question. You know, like, I feel like I don't know the full answer yet, but, like, I will hit back on that at the end of the episode for you. Okay, that works. But, Austin, did you think Chucky's humor was actually better this time around than the first one where it kind of felt more forced? Yes, actually, I do, and that actually brought up one of my. That actually brings up one of my points. All right, Chucky, in my opinion, was more evil than in last week's episode because last week's episode he wasn't really trying to be evil, but now in this episode, it's like, all right, let's put. My, I'm not gonna put my best foot forward. I'm gonna be evil. I'm gonna be myself, and I'm gonna be the evil sob that everyone knows. Man, that's that's more that's so apparent in the scene where he like tries to find the party while he's roaming the streets and with the Hello Kitty mask on and he like gives the black lady a uh, razor bladed apple. Yeah. <laughs> and that that actually brings up my other question too, which is so out of everyone including Junior that went to the party, what do you think was Jake's reasoning for not going to the party? My reasoning for Jake not going to the party is because he wanted to keep Chucky home so nobody at the party was in potential of getting murdered to death. And I uh, murdered to death. You know what? We're going to keep that. But yeah, I think uh, I think that's the main reason he stayed is so Chucky couldn't go murder people at the party. As we've seen, almost happened. Yep. And I literally, I literally, I would have been laughing if that happened. 
<laughs> Bro, I was just waiting for him to kill her. Same here. Uh, but do you think Jake is in a, a better position now than what he was thanks to Chucky? As Chucky says, like, or I'm your only friend. You're in a better house now because I killed that deadbeat dad that only used you as a punching bag. Do you think he is in a better position now? Yes, he is. And I also think that Chucky's going to, ch- uh, Chucky now, he's going to yeah. try to brainwash Jake. I, I also think uh, the little girl is going to be uh, like Lexi's little sister. I think she's going to be a part of something too. Like Chucky was down there uh, like telling her like, oh, you know, like killing's fun for the whole family. Like <laughs> he's brainwashing that little girl too. Oh, yeah. Do you see potential actually of her being like uh, friends with Jake and Chucky as well? Ooh, that's a really good question. That wasn't um, even a question I, I had written down, but, like, one I just thought of. Hmm. Good question. I think there could be potential that Lexi's sister could join up with Jake and Chucky, but I really wouldn't count on that. Yeah, you know what? That's kind of fair. I, d- I don't know how I feel about, like, a six- or seven-year-old going around stabbing people, but, like, we learned that Lexi just ain't a bitch to Jake. She's a bitch to her sister, saying that, like, she barely knows she exists. She's a bitch to her parents, cussing them out and, like, saying, you guys are the worst. She's a bitch to her boyfriend who never had sex before and just made fun of him for it. Like, it it just seems like she she needs to die. As Loomis says, it needs to die. Mm -hmm. Now, let's (laughs) go back. I didn't mean to cut you off, but let's go back to the beginning episode or the beginning of the episode. All right. That's, so that's do you fair. think Chucky uh, killed the housekeeper or do you think she just slipped and caused her own death? Honestly, I think she may have slipped. I, I mean, actually, I actually disagree. You disagree? Yes, I disagree. All right. Uh, give me a reason. Well, I think I disagree. I disagree with that because, well, for one, Chucky wouldn't be Chucky if he didn't pop his murder cherry. So that's in this, true. so in my opinion, he wanted to pop his murder cherry and the housekeeper seemed like the perfect victim. The reason I say I don't think so, and I think she slipped, is because of what Chucky said in the episode. If he wanted to kill anybody in that house, he would have done it since he's been there for a week. That makes perfect sense to me. And, like, the fact is, she probably, like, saw Chucky, like, running at her and, like, slipped back before he could get her himself. So I do think Chucky let her live, but, like, had intent of killing her. Mm Mm-hmm. I get that. But now we see Chucky even roaming the streets, like, by himself. Yeah, and I really hope in the next episode, Lexi is, gets gone. She's G to the O, O to the N, N to the E. It gone. needs to die. She needs to go. But, like, what was the highlight of this episode to you? To me? Yeah. I'm going to have to go with the party. Yeah. Although, although one particular scene in the party that I did not like, and we'll get to that, and we'll get to that when I discuss my cons. You know what? Uh, You know what? Let's just go ahead and get these pros and cons out of the way. I'm actually intrigued to hear your uh, reasons. All right. Um, Pros of the episode. Pros. I love how Chucky is being more evil now. He's trying to brainwash Jake into killing Lexi. Um, I love how Chucky is now being more evil. And hopefully in the next episode, we'll see Chucky and Jake team up maybe to take out Lexi, but the highlight for me was the party. The yeah. party scene. But, the only, there, I have two cons when it comes down to this episode. Two cons. Alright, let's hear them. One of them being, like you said, underage sex. That just, ugh. <laughs> yeah, that just, I agree. That throws me off. And two, the, the one person that was dressed like Jake's dad uh, mocking his death. That was Lexi! Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was bad. That man, was really bad. Man, my my pros for the episode was the whole party scene. Like, everything in that party scene was acted out so well. Like, it it was just fun to watch. You had Chucky playing, a, like, a violent video game with Lexi's sister, like, telling her to, like, kill her sister and all that. Chucky's humor, to me, was way better this time. Like, the first episode, it was just him, like, 
hiding around, acting like a regular doll a lot of the episode. But this one, he seemed to be, like, alive more. Chucky's now roaming the streets, which is actually scary for the people. Jake is now in a better position than what he was, thanks to Chucky. And my only two cons of the episode is, we all know underage sex uh just throws us off and then we got <laughs> chucky not killing lexi god damn how is that not how hard is that now wait a minute this brings up my question yes do you think lexi mocking jake Sten's death was wrong obviously point blank obviously i i you know you've had some good questions on this show austin that one was not it Come on now, like, I feel like, you know, like, of course it was wrong. Like, Austin, let's just say, uh, like, my dad died. Would you come into a party acting like my dad dying? No. There's your answer. Uh, I mean, if it wasn't for Chucky, I would have knocked Lexi out for that. Bro, I was wanting to that entire episode. Just, like, walk upstairs, like, throw Junior to the other side and just, like, start punching her. Me and Austin do not approve of women violence. No, we do not. <laughs> we just hate this bitch. Yes, we do. Big time. <laughs> but yeah, Austin, is there anything else you want to add or plug in here at the end of se- the end um, of this episode? Well, what would you rate tonight's episode? Honestly, what did I give the first one? I think I gave the first episode like a nine out of ten, partially yeah. because it was great. Yeah, well, I'm gonna give this one a nine point five. You know what? I'm going to give it a 9.5 as well. 9.5 out of 10. I mean, just because I felt like it was better than the first episode. Yeah, I definitely agree. Now, I'm going to go ahead and plug. I'm going to go ahead and plug what I need to plug here. All right. Plug some shit, Austin. Plug All it. right. So, if you guys have seen this episode of Chucky, let us know down in the comments below. Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? Let us know in the comments. And plus, if you missed the last um episode episode of horror after dark click that link in the description box below trust us you will enjoy that episode Man, and also what, what was that episode halloween kills yeah it was halloween kills great episode oh yeah we popped off and yeah. joe and i we want to thank you guys for all the support that we've been having on this channel like we literally appreciate it yeah yeah we do like every ounce of it like just Thanks to you guys, we we gotta do this shit. Oh yeah, but uh, yeah, guys, I I love you. Austin loves you. We all love you. We all love each other. Okay, we all love each other. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell. Hit that follow button on Anchor. Peace and love, baby.